Welcome, 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 welcome everyone to the season premiere of the Ladies Lounge. I am your hostess, MCA Aldridge, otherwise known as Pastor Michelle Aldridge, here at the Sanctuary of Praise and Worship Center. I am so grateful for all of the things that God has done for every one of us. He has kept us through a pandemic. He is still keeping us in the midst of the pandemic. And guess what? Because I was going to take a break from the, the, the ladies lounge back by popular demand. We are back. God is a good God. I bless God for each and every one of you beautiful children of the most high God. He loves you so much. And guess what? The Bible says we must praise him in the dance. And we're talking today with my guest, Miss Penny Peterson, about Let's Dance. Because here at the Ladies' Lounge, we're here to learn, to love, and to love. And I'm so glad that you are back with me here at the Ladies' Lounge. God is a good, good, good God. So Miss Penny Peterson is coming on. She is a dancer. She is a retiree and she was a yoga instructor, a masseuse, all these different things, but she's a dance instructor. And she's gonna talk today a little bit about dancing because the Bible says we must praise him in the dance. So let's welcome. Let's welcome my guest today, Miss Penny Peterson, as she comes and she talks today about let's dance because we must dance. We got to praise the Lord. And let me tell you, it is good to dance and move our muscles. But guess what? I'm not the expert, but I'm going to hand it over to her, Miss Penny Peterson, because she's going to talk on the Yes, Miss Penny. Greetings, greetings. Thank you for having me. Yes, let's dance. Dancing, as she um, probably told you, I've been dancing for many, many years. Um, the type of dance that I specialize in that I usually perform with my group is African and Caribbean dance styles. But I'm also a social dancer. I hear music and I start dancing in home, outside, anywhere. So uh, what is dance? Dance is just movement of the body to music. And dance is universal. It's, it's a universal human experience. And it has been around for centuries. We dance to celebrate and express um, events, life events. We dance to express joy or sorrow, uh, sometimes for religious reasons, relig religious rites, religious events. Um, Dance, the new, dance has numerous benefits. In, in a nutshell, it has a profound effect on us physically, mentally, and emotionally. It will keep us flexible, um, aids in weight loss or weight control, uh, reduces stress, it makes us happy, it builds up our strength, and it can increase our endurance. So some of the benefits specifically to the body Dance is like any other exercise where you're moving. So it can help to keep your muscles toned and build the strength in the muscles. Um, it affects your heart directly because your uh, heart pumps harder. It increases the strength in the heart. There's blood flow to the heart, which makes it work even better. And there's increased blood flow to the other organs and the muscle tissue, which they need to function. Um, it increases the range of motion and our flexibility, it keeps the joints lubricated, and it also helps with our balance, especially when we are aging. We know that is a balance becomes crucial, <laughs> yes, when we are aging. So it helps you to have better control over your body because you are in control of your movements and you're stronger. It can improve your coordination, which also helps with balance. Uh, dance can have you moving with grace because you move with agility and ease. 
And it also stimulates the endorphins, which are the natural feel-good hormones in the body. So that helps with pain. Um, to lose weight, it's dance is exercise. So, you know, we are um, revving up the metabolism. So you're burning calories so you can lose weight or you, it, you can use it to control your weight. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're losing weight. And you can sleep better because your body is more relaxed, sometimes even more tired. So you get a better deeper sleep. And um, it also reduces chronic pain. It helps to reduce chronic pain because it releases the natural painkillers in the body. And it also, like most forms of exercise, helps to keep uh, your blood pressure down. It reduces the hypertension in your body. So um, that's some of the benefits for the body, directly to the body, for the mind. If you are doing dance, you have to remember a particular dance steps if you're doing a, a class or choreography. So it helps to boost your memory. It also helps you to develop discipline because you have to keep practicing the steps to get them. So um, in that sense, it also helps your mind. It challenges your brain to stay fit and it helps to reduce stress so you're happier. Studies have shown that dance can help to lift depression. So it has a profound effect on your mind, your soul. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. It's all intertwined, body, mind, and soul. But dance on a social level, it keeps you engaged with friends. You can uh, meet new friends. You can stay connected with old friends. You know, if you go out in a social arena or you take dance classes. Um, Going to social events helps to keep you happy. You know that you go out and you just forget for a minute about what's going on. So there's less stress, which helps your immune system to stay healthy. It improves your mood. When you're happy, when you're around your friends, you're talking, you're hearing music and everything is going well and you're just forgetting about your cares. That improves your mood. And it can help to improve your self-esteem because you know some people are like, Oh, they're shy, they're whatever. So that, that can help you in a social setting to pull, um, pull you out of your little shell. So um, <laughs> you feel better about yourself and you, know, you get out there with your friends and you don't have a care in the world. It keeps you young at heart and I can attest to that. I am in the, I just stepped over into the woo, age. So <laughs> Yes, believe it or not, I'm going to show off. I'm 70 years old and I still dance and I still have it. <laughs> anyway, so basically, um, that's what dance can do for your body, mind, and soul. It, dancing is just fun. It really is fun. Um, dance is also used in, in um, rehabilitation. There's dance therapy. People who are... Um, physically limited, they can still dance. There's actually a, a, a form of dance where people are in wheelchairs and they perform with people who can have regular movements and it's called inclusive dance. And they, yes, it doesn't stop you. And so in dance therapy, if you can move the, only the top of your body, that's what they use. That's what they use to dance. If you can just barely move your legs, but they use it to strengthen you to, again, to help with your balance. Um, if you're in dance therapy, you dance with a the therapist, a partner dance. That helps you to build your strength. It helps to build your mobility because you're being supported. So dance therapy, um, you know, it can be done in a chair or a wheelchair, you know, seated. Um, the other day, we last year or so, we had a dance conference in Jamaica and we got in the pool and we did African dance in the pool. So it, it's not limited to where you are. It's not limited to where you are or your level of mobility. If you can move anything, you can dance. So like I said, it develops the um, body strength. And they even have studies that show that people with Parkinson's disease, dance has helped them because for instance, the tango, the movements of the tango, you go backwards, forwards, you know, if the turns, it helps them with their coordination and balance. There's numerous studies that show that how dance can help you. So, um, you know, we need to just stop thinking that 
dance is what you see on stage and you have to be like that and you have to learn this and learn that to enjoy dance. You just need to turn on the music and just dance free. It, it, it's called free form when you don't have any choreographed steps. Yes, there's um, different kinds of dance styles that have specific steps in a social setting, yes, or in, in a classroom, in a dance studio. But if you're at home, turn on the music and dance. It's a form of giving praise. So anyway, um, warm up. Warm up is necessary to, for the body for a vigorous or prolonged exercise or movement in whatever you're doing, whether it's running or even walking, because when you're doing your walking, when you start off, you walk slow, that's warming the body up because you need to get the blood to flow to the muscles and you need to get gentle stretches in the muscles so that they don't get injured. So warm up is necessary for dance um, before any kind of vigorous exercise in the world, any exercise, whether it's vigorous or not, you, you need to warm up the body. Different types of dance. Like I said, I specialize in African dance and that's the form that I like to do. Uh, even though I tend to do, if I can pick up a step, I'm doing a dance. <laughs> um, so there's African, which is, uh, you have traditional dances, which the movements are expressed, um, is usually tells a story through the movement, the song and the rhythm. So they use, uh, African dance traditionally it's done to celebrate like you know rites of passage when young girls or boys become adults um, if there's a good harvest or praying for a good harvest it's done in form when a child is born when the fishermen come in with um, the good catch or when they're going out you know they're dancing singing to send them off in praise for the creators to give them a good catch. So it's used for you know cultural reasons, but there's also social dance in Africa. It's called Afrobeat. And um, that's a current thing right now where the music is different and then they go in the clubs and the parties, they do the Afrobeat. Then you know you have um, all over the world, Indian dance, there's also traditional col uh, cultural dances in India, Bollywood, and they're also used for, most dances are used in a cultural sense, that they tell a story. Um, traditional Afro-Cuban and Afro-Brazilian. Most of it is from a religious aspect. They're giving thanks to the deities, to the creator, um, you know, honoring the, the elders, you know, always in thanksgiving, a lot of the dances in the cultural sense. There is the social dances, which is the twist, the ballroom, hip hop, reggae, line dances. Um, line dances are a good way to socialize. You get out there with your friends, you don't feel any way because everybody is on the floor doing the same thing. And even if you don't know what you're doing, you're having so much fun trying. So line dances is a good form of um, dance to try. Then there is like in the islands, for instance, in Jamaica, we have a lot of cultural dances related to our African background, our heritage. There's Kumina, Dinky Mini, as you know, yes. <laughs> and usually those movements tell a story um, about our heritage. Barbados, they have one called the Dele, which is like a quadrille. And the quadrille was actually done to mimic the white slave masters, the way they dance, you know how stiff they are, yes. So it was the form, the slaves would use it to um, entertain themselves to show how the white people were dancing with the, and the, the slave masters. And then there's, there's liturgical dances, which is done in praise. Um, modern dance, you know, in the studios now you have <laughs> ballet, tap, jazz, and these are usually dancing, taught in dance classes and uh, to choreography, you have choreography. So there's many styles, you know, every country, area, you can find dance. Dance is a universal language. And even if you don't understand the spoken language, if you don't understand the music, you could still join in and benefit from whatever form of dance. So what they like to say, um, you know, dance like nobody, like nobody is watching. 
I say dance even if they're watching. It doesn't matter, just dance. If you can move any part of your body, you can dance. You're never too old or too limited to dance. So you can take um, adult classes, you can dance at home, turn on YouTube. YouTube University is a wealth of um, dance. You can just go on there and just in the, in the um, privacy of your home. You know, if you're too shy right now, start at home. But dance, it's a very good form of exercise. You know, it's not mind, body, and soul benefits immensely from dance. So I dance because dancing is fun to me, first of all. But when I discovered, um, you know, the, as the older I got, I started dancing at three. So the older I got and I just, you know, learned the benefits of dance, especially from a cultural standpoint, dance became more important to me. But I also used to express my thanks to the creator and my ancestors because I'm thankful that I can move and be free, you know, in my mind, you know, just to appreciate dance and music and movement. So to me, dance is life. And I will keep on dancing until. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, I do commend you. Let me tell you, everyone out there, you heard what she said her agents. She said she is 70 years old. And she's going to do some warm-ups in a few minutes just to show us how to do warm-ups and how she is flexible at that age. But let me tell you something. There is hope for all of us. There is hope. Yes. There is hope. <laughs> so uh, we bless God for you. Of course, we know in the church, we do the liturgical dance, right? The mm -hmm. liturgical dance. Right. But then also in church, we, we like to do the, the Holy Ghost dance, of course. Uh -huh. you know, and we, mm -hmm. we go and we start, and I do it too, you know, and uh, the music start going and, and it's like a, a dance of joy, just, uh, just to, um, to express uh, how grateful you are to the Lord and how God is so good to you and you just feel happy. And there's sometimes yes. he just put the, uh, the pep in your step that they would say, but he would put the anointing in your feet for you to just dance and move and praise him. And the Bible says that David, he danced before the Lord and he danced so hard till he danced out of his clothes. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's a good thing for us to dance. So it is. Instructed today. Miss Penny Peterson, hallelujah, <laughs> going to show us some warm ups for when we're going to dance. Okay, now for the liturgical <laughs> dancers, um, this is good for you to know to have these uh, these warm ups, and of course, uh, it is good to dance. It's not just um, as I, I say before, sometimes I like to do dance in my home just to praise the Lord. So, even for just generally, even before you go to work out or something, um, it's good for you to know these warm-ups so she's going to show us some warm-ups at this time bless god just get the chair out the way and the movements are simple you know um in dance we use all parts of the body all the muscles get engaged so you, you can start warming up from the head it's just simple movements to the side simple movements to the side and you take it easy because we start off real slow and then we're gonna do up and down. You just look up and you look down. Look up and look down. Stay with a relaxed body. Up and down, up and down. Then we can circle. And this one just releases all kinds of tension in the neck. And go the other way. We rotate the other way really slow with intention. And when you get here, we're going to roll the shoulders back. Roll the shoulders back. Because we have to warm everything up, especially in African dance. We use a lot of arm movements as well as we are on the feet all the time. Then forward, roll forward. And we can do up, squeeze them up, and drop them. Squeeze them up, drop them. Squeeze them up, drop them. Squeeze them up, and drop them. Now the arms, we're going to swing it to the back. Just swing it. Make a circle with the arm to the back. And the other arm, 
circle to the back. We're going to take the other arm and come forward. Opposite arm that we, yes, there you go. Come forward and switch and come forward. And come forward. We're going to touch the shoulders and go up, up, and up, and up, and up, up, up. Up and up. Now we're just going to swing. Then put a little bend in the knees, and this is releasing the hips around the waist. So you get a general idea. Then we're going to lift the legs. We're going to lift the knee. Just bring the knee up a little. Up. Up. And it doesn't matter how high it goes, it's up to your. Whatever your um, ability is, lift it up, lift it up, and up. Then you're going to go the leg to the back. Just kick that. And if you can see, just kick that. Kick it back. Kick it back. Just kick the leg up. Kick the leg up. Kick and kick and kick and kick. That's it. We're going to bend to the side and to the side. And I just heard things going click, click, click. <laughs> Loosening up stuff. To the side and to the side. Tell me when you want me to stop, Mitch. Keep going, then we're going to go down. Just stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Just go towards the toes, wherever you can reach. If it's the knees, it's fine. If it's the toes, if it's the ankles, wherever. Don't force it, just do it to your ability. Then we're gonna come back up real easy. We're gonna bend the knees and straighten. Then straighten. Then then straighten. Then and straighten. We're going to move the hips a little because every part of the body moves in dance to the side. Just move it to the side. Move it, move it. Just move it. And we're going to do a little movement. If, I don't know if you can see my feet now, but we're going to tap. Just going to tap the floor. Tap. Just touch the floor in front of you. Touch. Touch the floor. Even if you're seated. That's fine. Just touch, <laughs> just touch, 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 touch. Now to the side, side, just, just touch it to the side. Side, 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 side. And now to the back, just touch, just touch with the toes. Touch, 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 touch. yeah. Okay, we're going to warm the ankles up. We're going to go raise up on the toes. Just up and down. Up, even if you're sitting, just go on the toes. Up, down. Just move the feet. Roll the feet up. Up and down and up and down. So you can incorporate different parts of your body in your warm up just to get the blood flowing and to get the muscles loosened up. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Let me tell Let me you tell something. You something. She, uh, Penny was doing this the standing version, but I am doing it with her. So exactly. um, those of you that say, Oh, I can't walk, I'm in a chair, or this, whatever you can do, wherever, uh, whatever point in life you are, whatever physical abilities you have. You can do it also. So um, it's, it's, it's not just limited for those that um, feel more um, agile or flexible. It's or flexible, right. Those, it's also for those that you might not be, um, you might be more physically unable to walk and move as uh, not as much as others. So just you can go in a sitting position because I'm here sitting and I'm doing it with her. Um, and, uh, and she said, go slow. She was laughing because she was watching me do it as well, <laughs> even in a sitting position. So everybody can do this. So everybody can dance. 
Okay? Exactly. There's no reason that, for you not to yes. move. Say, oh, I can't dance in the Holy Ghost like you. I can't move like you. And I can't do. No, everybody has their own little ability. And even for my job that I do, I have to also um, do this with my clients to do, yes. you know, give them some kind of physical movement. And I have to find yes. to do with them in the, the social therapy to find do things with them. So even dancing is very, very, very helpful, even in my field or whatever you do um, on your job. And, you know, um, even if this is good too, Penny, for those people that sit on, uh, that are sitting at a computer all day, all day, mm -hmm. because if I was able to sit here and do this and this and the yes. and the down. And just move your arms, just move your arms forward. Yeah, sideways, to the side, just move. It increases your range of motion. It releases the tension. Then when the muscles are tight, that's when you start getting all the back pains and the shoulder and the neck and the, as we all know. I like to, you know, we, we, are, we have a saying that says, Dance welcomes everybody. It means everybody, but it also means every type of body. You don't have to be skinny. You don't have to look a certain way. Everybody can dance because dance is movement to music. So that's it. I mean, just be free and just enjoy. That's what it's about. Just enjoy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Miss Penny. You're welcome. With my sister-in-law, you know. That's why yes. we're invited here. So, you know. Yes, family. family. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I hope, I really hope that, I really hope that more people will, you know, stop thinking, oh, I can't dance or dances, whatever. Just think that dance is a form of expression whether it's being thankful, whether it's just expressing sorrow, whatever it is, just express, just feel free yes. and dance. Yes, amen, amen. So I bless God for you, Miss Penny Peterson. I thank God for our ladies lounge as well. Okay, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me and stay healthy ladies. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, Miss Penny Peterson. God is a good, good, good God. And I thank God for all of you that have tuned in. It's not just limited to those to dance that are physically able to do it by walking or running and all that. You are physically, if you can lift just one finger, just do that. And I remember they said it as a saying that if I could just wave my hand, if I only could just wave my hand, I'm going to wave my hand to the Lord. I'm going to be glorious, glorifying his name because he's glorious, because he's wonderful, because he's perfect. And so we are going to dance to the name of the Lord, to praise him, to glorify him, to magnify him, and also to give him thanks. The Bible says also, bodily exercise profiteth little, but guess what? Little bit is good than nothing. Okay, so I thank God for all of you that have joined us here at the Ladies' Lounge. I hope you did learn something today. Surely we were relaxed. Hallelujah. We should feel a lot more relaxed after we did all of that. So it's where we learned something. We loved and surely we laughed here at the Ladies' Lounge. I bless God for all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for um, all your support over the couple of years. And this is our third season. And I just bless God for you. So tune in next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Our new time, 8 p.m. for the Ladies Lounge. I bless God for you, you, and you.